Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me now um, start my talk. Okay. I'm going to talk um, Frank Wolf today. Okay. Here's my abstract. Here's my outline. Okay. Let me go on, go on mm, the topic. I'm going to minimize the function f of x over a set C. Set C. Okay. C is, is a non empty closed convex subset of Banner space. Okay, I, I consider Banner space, okay. Now F of course is a real valued, uh, real value function. And, uh, basically it is a convex, okay. Uh, I, I only talk one sit situation where F is, F is not necessarily convex. Okay. I'm going to use the capital S to denote the set of solutions of the problem 1.1. And I always assume S is not empty. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the well known, the well known gradient projection algorithm, GPA, okay, is, is an iteration process I quote in equation 2.1. Okay, this is a, a GPA. Okay, here you have the gradient of F, and here you have the projection onto the set C, and then you have the step size gamma K. Now, now this, this algorithm works quite well in, in Hilbert space. Okay, let me, let me move down, move, move down the, the convergence result. Yeah. Okay, two conditions. If the gradient F satisfies the Lipschitz continuum uh, uh, condition, and number two, the step size is selected in this way, and then we we, we know the sequence X n generated by GPA here converges weakly to a solution in a general Hilbert space. Okay, that's weak weak convergence. But in Banner space, this algorithm does not work quite well because the gradient is quite complicated. Here, um, here is the gradient of F. Okay, now F prime means the fresh derivative. And the J is the normalized duality map. Down here, this is the definition of the duality map. Down here, here is the definition of a, a fresh uh, delivered to. So you need to use the the uh, the uh, normalized duality map from x star due space of x go back to the space x. So this is quite complicated actually. Now this this was first studied by Phelps. He proved this result. Okay, on here the proposition that's a uh, he proved that if X is a small, strictly convex and flexible bottom space, and also with the property H, property H means in the unit sphere, weak and strong topology coincide. Okay. And then if X is the, across the point of the sequence, XK generated by G, PGA, with step size chosen by the line search method, if the step size chose this way, and then X star is a, is a, is a constraint, he called constraint stationary point. So, so, so you, don't see, uh, you don't see much research in, in, space, in the case of Banner space. Okay. So I should say that the, the PGA does not work well in, the, in Banner space setting. Okay. But uh, what I'm going to talk today is uh, uh, FWA, Frank Wolf. Frank Wolf works quite well in the space, in the case of Banner space. Okay. Okay. We just simply use uh, fresh uh, derivative. We don't use the duality map. Okay. Uh, this is a, a necessary and also sufficient condition in the case of F is convex. Okay. For X star to be a solution, to be a solution that X star satisfies this, uh, solve this variation inequality. 
Okay. Uh, the, the similar to the case of a, of a Hilbert space. Now, let me move down. Okay. What is FW? Uh, Frank Wolf, well, I just call FWA, okay. FWA is also called the conditional gradient. Uh, FWA was introduced in the year 1956, very early, okay, by Frank and Wolf. Okay. Now, they initially introduced FWA to solve the quadratic optimizing problem in a Euclidean space, RN. Okay. And now, but, but recently, this uh, FWA has, has been received a lot of attention be, because it is quite powerful to solve large scale optimization problems. Okay, there's one advantage that the sub problem is simple. It's simple. Okay. Uh, this is a definition here, another definition, 3.3 is the definition of WA. Okay. Okay, you start from x zero, and then when you get x k, you just solve this linear sub problem to get x x k bar, and then make a linear combination in three point three b. Okay, you get the next digit x k plus one. So this is. Uh, this is simple, okay, quite simple. Uh, now, of, co of course, the gamma k is interpreted as step size. Okay. Now, initially, initially in, in Frank Wolf, they choose the step size as two over k plus two. Okay, then they prove convergence. Okay, that's the definition of FWA. Now the history you, you can you can you can see the magazine the magazine the magazine magazine uh, let me see Opt Optima ninety five okay uh, published in November twenty fourteen you can you can read the history of FWA okay I, I'm not just skipping the history here okay now. Now the convergence, I want first, I want to discuss the convergence of FWA. Now, as you can see, okay, uh, XK plus one is a linear combination of XK and X bar. So you needed to study to, to know some property of, of X bar. And one particular issue is you, you needed to choose the step size, gamma K, okay, to guarantee uh, to guarantee uh, good good behavior of the F FWA. Now, how to choose the step size? Okay, at the beginning, uh, as I said, uh, um, Frank and Wolf choose two over k plus two. Now, there there are some ways to choose the step size. Okay, one way is to choose the step size by solving the, this linear, uh, this line minimization. Very traditional. Okay. And then, then this is the one way to choose the step size. Okay, so you need to solve this uh, uh, minimizing problem of f over on this uh, segment. Okay, where the gamma gamma is between zero and one. Okay, this is this is the one way to choose the step size. Okay, let me move down. Now, now let me discuss the convergence. If if the gamma k, the step size is selected this way. And of course, then you need also, you need to assume some conditions, some conditions. Okay, let me go back to the FWA. FWA is here. This linear problem, in order to guarantee uh, solvable, solvable you, you need actually to assume C to be weakly compact. Okay. So if the space X is reflexive, C is closed, convex bounded, then okay, then 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 then, then it's okay, no problem. Okay. So the the so the first choice, my first choice is that the step size is selected by solving this linear by this line um, minimization. 
then what is convergence? Okay. Now I need some tools to prove convergence. Okay. Uh, this is a lemma. Well known. I, I think it is quite well known. If if a sequence of little non-negative sequence uh, alpha k satisfies the inequality six three point six. Okay, where uh, where where I assume three conditions, A, B, and C. Okay, then the concurring that alpha k go to zero. So in order to prove a sequence alpha k converged to zero, you just need to check whether uh, it is satisfied the inequality of different six with the parameters of beta k and epsilon k satisfy three conditions, and then that's it. Okay, this is very simple. Okay, now that's, that's the convergence. Okay, now this is a Banach space setting. Okay, now F is convex differentiable. Now I need, I need, okay, the derivative, the derivative of F, F prime, the fresh derivative is uniformly continued on C. And then of, co of course, XK is the sequence generated by FWA. Then the step side selected by the line search method. Then I can prove one and two. Number one says this, FWA is is actually decreasing. Okay, is is uh, descent method. So f of x plus one is less than is equal to f of x k, and the limit is the optimal value. Okay, optimal value. Uh, furthermore, if f has a sharp minimum point x star. Then FW is finite. Now this uh, in in literature, let, uh, for example, Polya's book. Now uh, Polya proved in the setting of Hilbert space, and with a stronger condition that that the derivative f prime be Dirichlet continuous. Here I just need uniformly continuity. Okay, you cannot. You cannot uh, relax this uh, uniform con continuity condition. If f prime is simply continuous, then the uh, then 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 the sequence may not converge. Okay. That proof. Okay, I just use this lemma, the lemma I just mentioned. Okay. Now to prove convergence, for example, if I want to prove convergence f x k convergence f x star, I just need to prove the difference. The difference between f of xk and f star go to zero. So then I can use this lemma. Okay, I I just need to check to to prove that the the, the difference as uh, as alpha k satisfy this inequality with the condition a, b, and c. Then I can con conclude. I can conclude. Okay, the convergence. So I'm not going uh, to speak. The details, okay, uh, uh, because I'm, okay, okay, I, I have to go fast. Now, let me move down to another way of choosing the step size. It's called, it's called open loop condition. Okay, now the sequence XK, XK is still generated by FWA, but the step size gamma K is now uh, selected uh, to satisfy the so-called open loop conditions, two conditions, C1 and C2. C1, gamma K go to zero, but, but gamma K go to zero, not very fast. It satisfies the second condition, C2, okay. Uh, this series is divergent to infinity. Okay, now the, the, the traditional choice of gamma k by, by Frank and Wolf, which is two over k plus two, obviously satisfy this condition, these two conditions, C1 and C2. Okay, then, then the concurring that FWA converges. 
f of xk converges to the optimal value f star. But I have only this con only this uh, conclusion. If you compare the previous result, this okay. You ha we have I have two conditions along the trajectory of the uh, uh, fwa. The value of f is decreasing; it's descend. But if the step size is selected by open loop, I don't know. Okay, I don't know whether or not the value of f at x k is decreasing or not. But I can prove it's convergent. Okay, let me let me let me show you now how to prove this again. I need to prove. I need to prove this inequality. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, actually, I, I I don't prove this. I use the same way to prove this uh, theta k plus one smaller than equal to the right hand side of this inequality. Now, what the gamma k is the step size. Now, what's the epsilon k? Okay, let me go back to the proof of the, or, or the, or the first, uh, first selection of the step size. Okay, theta k is the difference okay, between f of k and f star. F star. Okay, so it's always non-empty and non-vectorative. And then what is epsilon k? What epsilon k is down here, that's what is that epsilon k? Uh, here. This is the epsilon k. Epsilon k. The supremum over zero and one of the norm of this difference, the two the derivatives, the two derivatives on, on the segment uh, joining xk to xk uh, bar. So I want epsilon k to go to zero. So then I need, need the uniform continuity ff prime. Okay, delta is finite because I assume I assume C is bounded. So epsilon k goes to zero because um, xk is bounded. X, I can prove it. Okay, x, x, xk of course xk is bounded because C is bounded. Okay, and f prime is uniformly continuous. So the supremum over uh, of t over over t in zero one must go to zero because tau k goes to zero. Tau k. Tau k is any sequence, any 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 sequence in zero one, uh, which goes to zero, uh, which satisfy this condition that the zero is divergent. Okay, so the uniform continuum of prime guarantees that epsilon k go to zero. And then some technical, some 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 um, tedious argument. I will give you this inequality, 3.11, this inequality. Now, this inequality satisfy the previous lemma, satisfy this lemma, and then we can conclude theta k goes to zero, then we prove the convergence of fxk to f star, the optimal value. Okay. And uh, this is the, the proof um, in the case of step size chosen by line minimization. Okay, now, now here, uh, if the step size is selected by uh, the open loop conditions, then the proof is uh, actually the proof is the same. Okay. Okay. Now let me let me tell you something about the the history of this selection of the open loop. Open loop. The condition actually was used by by Dan and and the uh, in quite early in 1985 probably okay now, now they use now they use they they choose the steps of gamma k in the following way okay uh, two conditions d1 d2 this is d1 gamma k is smaller than equal to alpha over k for some constant alpha okay number two alpha uh, number two d2 the condition d2 uh, gamma k satisfies this uh, recursion relation Actually, this is the given one. Gamma k plus one equals gamma k over one plus gamma k. 
Okay. Now, now of course, I can, I can, I can prove that. Okay, d1 and d2 implies the condition, implies the condition, uh, the open loop condition c1 and c2. Gamma k go to zero. The series of gamma k can divergent. Okay, because I can prove that gamma k plus one is bigger than equal to gamma zero over two plus k. So the series is divergent. So, so these two open loop conditions are more general than the condition d1 and d2. Okay. Now I want to I want to discuss the rate of convergence. Now the rate of convergence depends on the concept. The concept, the so-called uh, curvature constant of F. Now here's the definition of the curvature constant of F over C in the equation 3.14. The supremum over xs in C, gamma in 0, 1, and y the, the, is a the segment on the segment joining S to X. Okay, now supremum of this quantity, this quantity, the difference of the first, okay, the, the, the first order, the first order part actually of F, if you expand the F, the function F of Y at X, okay, then you get the first order terms. That's the difference. Then divided by the gamma square, take the supremo, that's the definition of the curvature constant of F. Uh, equivalently, you can find, okay, the curvature constant, if it, it is fine, okay, if it is fine, then it's actually the least non-negative number such that the inequality in 3.15 holds for all x, for all y in the segment join x to some other point s in c. Okay. Uh, this this uh, concept is actually diff actually uh, for the case, specifically for the case where actually the derivative f f prime is Lipschitz continuous. Actually, okay. Now. Here, Lipschitz continues. Now we know there's some other continuity that's called holder, uh, holder continuous. This is the definition of holder continuous. Okay, now we, we know if the derivative of F, F prime is L Lipschitz continuous, then we, we, we have this condition, we have this inequality. We, have, we always have this continuity, no, no, no matter if it's convex or, or non-convex. Now this 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 condition this inequality implies 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 actually implies the curvature constant C F is finite. Okay. Now remember we always assume C is bounded. Okay. But this condition just for for the case where uh, F prime ellipse continues. Now if if I want to consider the the other case where the derivative of f prime is holder continuous for, for, for new between zero and one strictly. And then that, that, that concept, that concept of a curvature constant uh, does not work well. So I, I, I introduced the concept the, the following concept are called constant curvature constant of f of order sigma. Order sigma sigma can be bigger than one. Uh, yes, sigma bigger than one. Okay. Uh, the definition, the extension is parallel. It, I just replace the square by by sigma. Okay. Every other thing are the same. Remain the same. I just okay uh, in Curvature constant, the numerator here is two. The exponent to gamma is also two. I just change the two to sigma. Okay, then I call it the curvature constant of f, f or the sigma. 
and are denoted by C sub F from um, sub sigma. Okay, now similarly, actually, the this uh, curvature constant is the least non-negative number uh, satisfying this inequality for all x, for all y in the segment joining x to s, with s also in c. Okay, now of course, if sigma equals two, then we 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 go back to the curvature constant of f in the previous definition. Okay. Let me repeat the definition here, just two here, square. Uh, now, here the, the, the definition, the, the common definition of the so-called uh, uh, modulus of continuity of a function f. Okay. Now, I repeat here the definition of uh, uh, new holder continues. And here, if, if, if new equals one, then we get a Lipschitz continuous. Okay. And uh, uh, if F is new holder continuous, then the, the modulus of continuity of F uh, is upper bounded by this quantity. Okay. Down here, the Lipschitz continues. Okay. Now, this is my estimation of the constant of the curvature constant, okay. Suppose the derivative of F, F prime is uniformly continued over C. Then the curvature constant of F uh, of F of order sigma, okay, satisfy this inequality. Okay, I can give upper bound, okay. The integral of the, of the uh, modulus of F prime uh, on the interval zero to gamma times the diameter of C, okay. Uh, this is the, and, and then if F is uh, F prime satisfying the holder con con condition, then the estimation, okay, sigma is one plus uh, nu, then the constant has this upper bound. In particular, if nu equals one, that means F prime Lipschitz continues, then the constant is upper bounded by D square F, D is diameter of diameter of C. Okay. Now, this constant plays a very important role in discussing, in the discussing of the rate of convergence of WA. Now, let me show you the result. Okay. Now, in order to prove, in order to prove the rate of convergence, again, I need a inequality. Uh, this inequality is taken from uh, Polya's book. Polya's book. Okay, suppose you have a, a non-negative sequence alpha k, which satisfy this inequality uh, here, down here, the inequality. Okay, uh, alpha k plus one smaller than equal to alpha k minus beta k times alpha k raised to the power one plus tau. And tau is a positive constant. Then, then you have the inequality in 3.25. Okay. Now, in particular, if beta k is a constant and tau equals one, that means alpha k satisfies this inequality. Then you have the rate of convergence, like this alpha k converges to zero, converges to zero uh, at the rate of one over k. Okay, now this is the part very powerful in getting the rate of convergence for, for FWA. Let me show you. Let me show you the result. Okay. Now <clears throat> I have a Banach space. I have a closed bound convex subset. Okay. Now we have objective function f, okay, differentiable convex. Okay. Now the fresh the limit of f is uniformly continues on c. Okay. Now additionally, I assume that there exists some sigma bigger than one, such that the curvature constant of all the sigma over C is finite. And then let's consider, let's consider uh, the sequence generated by FWA. Now remember the, the step size. Okay, I have two ways to select the step size. Let me first consider uh, the case where the step size gamma K is selected by 
the line minimization method. And then I have this estimation of the rate of convergence. Okay, the difference of fxk, okay, and then the optimum value f star is capped O of one over k to the sigma minus one. Okay, now in particular, if f prime, the derivative is new, is new, new, is new, uh, hold the continuous, new between zero and one, then the rate is of one over k to, to the new. Now, previously, previously, it, it has been proved the case of uh, the case where f prime is Huppert continuous. Then the rate is one over k. Okay, so here I extended the result to the, to the more general case where f prime can be a new holder continuous. Okay. Uh, I have a proof. <clears throat> Let me see if you have time or not. Okay. I have a proof. Uh, I, have to, I have a proof. Okay. Uh, now this the case. This is the case where the step size is selected by the line minimization method. So so the value of f at x k plus one is precisely the value of this uh, interval minimization problem. Okay. Now 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 we apply the concept of the curvature constant of um, order sigma. Then I have this inequality. This inequality. Now I have to I have to minimize the function phi k with respect to gamma gamma on the interval zero one. Okay, so then I I, I just differentiate the gamma, and then solve this equation to get to get the gamma gamma bar. And then I go back to the estimation here. Okay, so eventually after some manipulation, okay, I've, I've got here fxk plus one is smaller than equal to here, the right hand side, right hand side. And then, okay, then I have to consider the case, two cases, okay, because, because I, Solve the minimum. I consider five k. I want to minimize the five k, uh, but 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 gamma have has to be restricted on the interval zero one. So the gamma bar here may I don't know is bigger than one, smaller than one. Okay, so so I have to consider the case if the gamma bar bigger than one, or gamma bar in smaller than one. Anyway. Anyway, after. Uh, some manipulation, my manipulation, look, look at these computations, of course, because sigma is a general general number bigger than one. If sigma equals two, then, and then the computation would be very simple. But for the general case, the computation is, is a little bit complicated. Anyway, anyway, after a lot of manipulations, I can get, I can get, this inequality, this inequality. Now remember, sigma, theta k is the difference between fxk and f star. Okay. So, so eventually, I got this inequality. Now, now here, this is a constant. So then I can apply, I can apply the um, polyas inequality. This in Poly has inequality here. Uh, beta k is constant. In this case, okay. If you compare this inequality here, let's look. So I can apply the poly as inequality to, to get this, to get this. Now the rate is precisely capital O of one over k to sigma minus one. Okay, this is the, this is the result I got here. Okay. Now, how about how about uh, <clears throat> uh, 
how about uh, the other way, the second way where the, the where the um, step size selected by the open loop way. Uh, okay. This is a this is a result uh, proved previously uh, with the condition with the condition of the curvature constant of CF. Okay. In CF, uh, in the conditions, okay, of course, the optimal value is a finite the curvature constant CF is a finite. Uh, the derivative of F prime is the uniform condition over C. Uh, then XK generated by FWA, um, the step size selected by open loop condition C1 and C2. And then we proved the convergence, right? We proved the convergence FXK converted to the optimum value. Okay, now I, I, I don't know. In this case, I don't know how to get to the rate of convergence. Here, I have to assume the step size Okay, satisfy these two conditions, these conditions. Okay, gamma k plus one equals gamma k minus of half gamma k squared. Then I can I can get I can get this rate of convergence. Okay, uh, which is the uh, one over a k. Now delta is a constant. This is delta. Uh, but let me let me show you. My result, okay. This is proved by me, okay, in, 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 in Bana space. I also use here uh, the derivative uniform continuous, not necessarily the Lipschitz continuous. Uh, I think I've, I'm going to skip the proof, okay. I'm going to skip the proof because I want to, I want to show you this result. Uh, slight, uh, generalization to the case, to the more general curvature constant of odd sigma. Okay, the condition are more or less the same, okay? So we have a Banach space, we have a closed bound is convex subset. Uh, we have a, a function f, continuous differentiable convex, the derivative uniformly continued over C, now the condition that, okay, fine, the optimum value is finite. Uh, also, the curvature constant of sigma uh, or the sigma is finite for, for some sigma bigger than one. And then we have the sequence generated by Frank Wolf, FWA. And, uh, and then I need to assume that the step size gamma K uh, satisfying the recursion process 3.45. Oh, why 3.5, 3.5, okay, this condition. Okay, if the step size, the step size gamma k is generated by this recursion process. Okay, then, uh, then my concluding that, my concluding that the rate of convergence is given by down here, the right hand side of 3.42, okay. Uh, because uh, C, because C is any is any constant bigger than equal to sigma two sigma. Uh, the bottom part is is k plus one to the power sigma minus one. Okay, so the rate of convergence basically the same as the previous one, where the where the step size is selected by the line minimization method. But to the proof. Proof is not so easy, not so easy, okay. Uh, of course, I need to use the definition of the curvature constant of, of sigma and of the sigma. The inequality down here, 3.46 is simply the definition, by the definition of curvature constant of uh, odd sigma, okay. Then, then, uh, Similarly to the previous case, we, we can arrive at this inequality. Now the problem is that how to solve this inequality to get the estimation given here in the equation 3.42.
So, 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 so then, so then we are, we are, we're done. Okay. So, so we need to solve this inequality. Of course, you cannot exactly solve the inequality. We need to estimate because gamma k is, is determined by this recursion process. So then we can prove this. Actually, we can prove this. Okay. Uh, it looks a bit complicated. Okay. Gamma K is more or less, more or less capital, capital O of one over K raised to the power one over sigma minus one. Okay. We, we need to prove this. Now, of course, I have to to prepare something, okay, okay. For example, this lemma, if beta k is a sequence in zero one, uh, it again determined by this recursion process, then we can prove beta k has an upper bound, which is over k c uh, over k to the power sigma minus one. The k c is any constant bigger than equal to sigma raised to the power sigma. Okay, now this is this elementary, but uh, I, I, I proved, <clears throat> I can prove this. Okay. Uh, so this is the rate of convergence for the case where the step size is selected basically by the open loop, but not completely, not complete the, the open loop situation because I need to assume that the step size gamma k is generated by this recursion process. Not only uh, the condition C1 and C2. Okay. Now, what's, what's the next? Next, let me discuss the conversion of iterates. Uh, here I have a reflexive balance space. Okay, then I have a sequence generated by FWA. Now I have a step size gamma k. Gamma k, here I consider two cases, okay. Gamma k is selected either by line minimizing search or by open loop rule C1 and C2, okay. Now, the following are the uh, convergence of xk because previously I just discussed uh, the convergence and the rate of convergence of F xk. I have not mentioned anything about the sequence itself, whether or not the sequence, the sequence itself can converge to a solution. Okay. Now, if now case number one, okay, if f is strictly convex, then I can prove xk can uh, converge weakly to the unique solution, because the minimizer must be unique when f is strictly convex. Number two, if f is uniformly convex then I can get a strong convergence of xk. Okay. Now, if f has a sharp minimum point, then the sequence of xk converges in norm to xk at finite termination. Okay. Now, if c is compact in the norm topology, <clears throat> and this, the step size is selected by the open loop rule, and then I can prove the following. Okay, I don't know. I don't know whether or not the sequence can convert. But anyway, if if I know xk has at most finitely many crossed points, then the sequence actually converge. Okay, if we know that the the, the, the number of cross points is finite, then actually we can prove actually xk must converge. Okay, that that's the convergence of the the sequence itself, okay. And uh, the following, I also extend to the composite situation, okay, where the function f, f now is the sum of two functions. Okay, now I use a phi, use a phi, and the phi is equal to f plus g, f plus g. Uh, this is called, called uh, and then I call the generalized FWA. So now I have F A W A. F A W A is that okay? Linearize the function f at the iterate x k. Okay, we still keep a g. So, so down here four point two. 
in the so-called GFWA, generalized FWA. No. Okay, now the sub problem. Sub linearized F at XK, and then uh, uh, G is kept. So this is, is the linear part of F plus G. This is the sub problem. Okay, the second part in the limit unchanged. In XK plus one is still the is still the linear combination of XK and, and XK bar. Okay. Now, now what what is the situation this G FWA? Okay. Uh, in literature there's some research about this G FWA. Now here I will continue my conditions. Okay. I use uniform continuity, not Lipschitz continuous. So I want to, to extend the previous uh, uh, results to this composite uh, case. <clears throat> okay, now if this step size is selected by this uh, um, line minimization search, okay, then I can still prove the convergence previous the same. Okay, the, this method GFWA is actually the same method. And phi XK converges to the optimum value. Okay, this is the first extension. I don't have time to give you the proof. This, now how about open loop? How about open loop? Okay, let me, uh, okay, down here, the open loop. The derivative is uniform continuous uh, over each the bound subset of f x f, x. Now, now I need the, the sequence both sequences x k and x k bar bounded. Okay, and then the step size follows the open loop conditions. Then I still have the convergence phi x k converges to the optimum value. That's that's the composite case. I'm not going to prove this. Okay. Now here, the, the convergence of, of the the sequence x k. Uh, I can extend. I can extend the previous result partly, not not fully. Okay. Uh, now, now let me move down to, 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 to the case where F is not necessarily convex. That means it may be, that means the, 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 the so-called non-convex case. Okay. But of course we can still define, define the curvature constant of F of all the sigma. Okay. The same formula. Now we have the same inequality down here. Now the problem is that we can also, we can also define we can also define the FWA by the same uh, same way. That means XK is generated by the, by the same FWA. We can still, in the non-convex, we still have FWA. Okay. Now, what is the convergence? Now, in this case, in this case, we use the so-called FW um, gap, FW gap, which is denoted by GK. Okay. That's the difference. That's in 5.3, that difference, the two numbers, okay, the two numbers. And that we also needed the minimum gaps. That's the minimum, GK is minimum, the, the gap at population uh, K. Now, down here, the definition of the so called minimum gaps, G hat K. Okay. Now, 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 what, what is the result? Okay. In literature, there is a paper studied, studied the gap, the minimum gap, in the case of, of a curvature constant. Now, I extended this result to the more general case of the curvature constant of uh, order sigma. Now, what is my result? Let me just show you my result, okay. Here, the body not. <clears throat> okay, just consider FWA in the non-commerce case. Okay. Uh, I, I can only work out 
the case where the step size gamma k is chosen by the line uh, minimization search. And then we have for any constant c bigger than equal to the curvature constant of sigma or the sigma, we have the following estimation. Okay, the minimum gap g hat k is upper bound on the right hand side, which show you show which shows you the rate of convergence, okay, capital O of one over k to the power one minus one minus uh, one over sigma. That's the rate of convergence. Okay, this is called the rate of convergence of in the case of uh, of, of non-convex. We can only get this uh, rate for for the, the gap, for the gap. Actually also the minimum gap, I don't know. I don't know if we can get better rates or, bet or, or estimate on the, the difference of, of Fxk and F star, I don't know. But anyway, anyway, we have something about the rate of convergence, okay? So that means if you, wa you want to get a, a stationary point with gaps more than epsilon, then the maximum, at maximum, you just need of one capital over one over epsilon square iterations. <laughs> this is not very good, but this is non convex, that's the case. Okay, I have some proof, some arguments to get this rate of convergence. Okay, now let me let me just to conclude, let me just mention some some further some topics. Okay, okay. Uh, Frank Wolf is quite widely employed. Uh, in optimization, in particular large scale optimizations, okay, because they want to solve simple some problem. Now, some problem, some further topics, decentralized, distributed Frank Wolf. There's some work, okay. The topics I mentioned also some works, okay. The number two, FW on manifolds. Some work, not so much. Now, stochastic FWA. Now applications of WA to sparse recovery. Okay. More investigation of FWA for non convex optimizing, optimization, such as fractional uh, optimization, uh, which which uh, which Min just talked about. I cited here the two works by Bart, Min, and uh, Guin Li. Okay, they're quite active now in fractional optimization. Uh, now I listed some references. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Han Kun. Yeah. Um, do you have time to answer questions? Five minutes. Five minutes. I have to get nine o'clock. Okay. Okay. Other questions? Yeah. I don't see. Does anybody have questions? Please start talking. Brady, Brady, how 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 are you doing, Brady? <laughs> yeah, drinking coffee or tea? <laughs> I guess he enjoying your talk. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm actually I, I I looking forward. I, okay, I'm looking forward to to collaborations with you guys because I I'm I'm single here. I just only me doing research. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't have so much time to work out all these subjects. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if any one of you are interested in these talks. Me, we can here. do some collaborations. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yes, yes, okay, good. Oh. <laughs> well, thank, thank you for, for, for subjecting me to work in, in the, the, the last sub subject you, you mentioned here. Thank you. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I, I have a question. So, um, uh, because I'm, I'm not familiar with the, the Banax spaces, so, um, mm. Uh, I, I guess uh, the 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 framework algorithm already have some um, result in Hinbus space, right? So yes, yes. Uh, in it, can can you um, can you tell us the 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 difficult the difficult uh, the difficulty when when you you move from Hinbus space to Banach space? Oh, okay, okay. Because in general, in Banach space, you have to use the duality map, which makes things complicated hard. But fortunately, you see, 
uh, for FWA, because the sub-problem sub -problem is linear, it's just the inner product, the inner product. Okay, now, if you apply a fresh derivative in bundle space, you don't need the, 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 the duality map J. You, you, you just the, uh, a pairing between the X and the duality space X star using um, fresh derivative. Because fresh derivative takes the value in the duality space. So you, you, you get rid of the, uh, the duality map. <clears throat> okay. that, that's the advantage. Yeah. So actually, actually, bottom space just just a frame, just frame. You don't need any uh, real geometric property of bottom space. But you you still can use some some technique from Hinbus space to in, in in into the proof, right? Yes, yes, because I get rid of the duality map. Just a need, I use the pairing between x and x star. You yeah. don't need the duality map. The, 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 so then you can apply the Hilbert space. Te techniques. Yes, yes. <clears throat> and, and and your yeah. and and your your result mm. cover all the the the, the corresponding result in 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 birth space in the literature. Uh, yes, and um, I can extend all hyperspace space results to Banner space in that case. Okay. In in the more general case, I under. The curvature constant of, of all the sigma that includes much more. Okay, that would yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. thanks. Uh, thank you very much, Ming. Thank you very much, Hong Kun. Are there more questions? Okay. I apologize, so, I, I cannot stay longer with you because I have to go to teach to teach a course. Yeah, I thank have you. been. <laughs> yeah. I have been teaching a course of financial mathematics for over 20 years. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Hong Kun, oh, yeah. and thank you very much for making thank you, uh, thank you. arrangements. So we shouldn't okay. disadvantage your students. Your students should learn mathematics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, and okay. and, and, and thank we, you. we believe that we, we will see you again next week, right? Oh, yes, yes. The, 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 the annual congress. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See yeah. you. See you. See you. Okay. Yeah, thank you okay. so much. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Okay. See you.